हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे टॉपिक इज रियल एक्सचेंज रेट द रियल एक्सचेंज रेट इज द रेशियो ऑफ फॉरन टू डोमेस्टिक प्राइसिस मेजर्ड इन द सेम करेंसी इट मेजर्स अ कंट्रीज कॉम्पिटिटिवनेस इन इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड द रियल एक्सचेंज रेट आर इज डिफाइंड एज where e denotes nominal exchange rate pf denotes foreign prices and p denotes home prices or domestic prices the real exchange rate can be defined as this form this is the nominal exchange rate for example let's suppose dollar 1 equals to rupees 70 okay this is the nominal exchange rate this is the foreign prices if i am assuming if i am assuming india as a domestic country as a home country domestic country or a home country then foreign prices means the uh, the prices in us the prices in united states and this is the home prices or domestic prices that means prices in the home country prices in india ओके द न्यूमरेटर एक्सप्रेसिस प्राइसिस अब्रॉड मेजर्ड इन होम करेंसी ओके एंड द रियल एक्सचेंज रेट एक्सप्रेसिस प्राइसिस अब्रॉड रिलेटिव टू दोज एट होम आई विल एक्सप्लेन इट टू यू दीज टू स्टेटमेंट्स ओके let me first explain the first statement the numerator expresses prices abroad measured in home currency c let's suppose india as a home country as a domestic country okay and let's suppose us as a foreign country fine okay now if we talk about the numerator portion e is the nominal exchange rate nominal exchange rate means let's suppose it is dollar 1 equal to rupees 70 fine foreign prices price of any commodity in the foreign country okay so let us assume as a dollar Five. Okay. Upon. Uh, okay. We will discuss the denominator later on. Let us first discuss. Uh, uh, let us first discuss the the numerator portion. So basically, the foreign prices, the foreign prices in the domestic currency, it will be dollar five into rupees seventy, which is rupees. Three fifty. Basically, if there is any commodity, then you will have to pay rupees three fifty in the United States to purchase that commodity. And upon denominator, the same commodity will cost you rupees. Let's suppose four hundred. That you will have to pay rupees four hundred in India. to purchase the same commodity okay i hope the concept is clear the numerator expresses prices abroad abroad means in our case us measured in home currency home currency means measured in indian currency rupee form okay so if there is any commodity which will cost you dollar 5 in us but when you will measure it in the home currency form in indian currency it will be rupees 350 so you will have to pay rupees 350 to purchase that commodity in the united states but to purchase that same commodity in india in the home country you will have to pay rupees 400 clear so this is the real exchange rate the the second statement the real exchange rate expresses prices abroad relative to those at home prices abroad relative to those at home 
फाइन इफ द रियल एक्सचेंज रेट इक्वल्स वन देन सी रियल एक्सचेंज रेट इज नॉमिनल एक्सचेंज रेट टाइम्स फॉरेन प्राइसेस अपॉन होम प्राइसेस इफ इट इज इक्वल टू वन इट मींस दैट दिस पोर्शन विल बी इक्वल टू दिस पोर्शन क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई ओके वट डज इट मीन दिस पोर्शन डिनोट्स द फॉरन प्राइसेस विच इज इक्वल टू द डोमेस्टिक प्राइसेस और द होम प्राइसेस दैट अ कमोडिटी एनी कमोडिटी इट विल कॉस्ट यू और यू विल हैव टू पे लेट सपोज रुपीज थ्री फिफ्टी इन द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स एंड द कमोडिटी विल कॉस्ट यू सेम इन इंडिया एज वेल दैट यू विल हैव टू पे रुपीज थ्री फिफ्टी टू परचेज द सेम कमोडिटी इन इंडिया दिस इज फॉर यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स एंड दिस इज फॉर इंडिया सो इफ रियल एक्सचेंज रेट इक्वल्स वन दैट मीन्स योर फॉरन प्राइसेस विल बी इक्वल टू द डोमेस्टिक प्राइसेस क्लियर so basically if the real exchange rate equals 1 currencies are at purchasing power parity purchasing power parity means two currencies are at purchasing power parity when a unit of domestic currency can buy the same basket of goods at home or abroad jo abhi humne example dekha wo wahi tha that basically You can purchase the same commodity by paying rupees three fifty in the United States, and you can buy the same commodity, the same basket of goods, by paying rupees three fifty in India. So, if the real exchange rate equals one, we will say that that currencies are at purchasing power parity. Parity means equality. Equal parity means equal. So your purchasing power is equal in United in case of United States as well as in case of India. Your purchasing power is equal. Okay. If the real exchange rate rises above one, that means that goods abroad are more expensive than goods in the home country. Simple, hai. Again, real exchange rate equals to nominal exchange rate times pri foreign prices upon domestic prices. If it is above one, that means greater than one. That means this portion will be greater than this portion. Again, cross multiply. So, what does it mean? The foreign prices are greater than domestic prices. The commodity will cost you more in the United States as compared to India. The foreign prices are greater than domestic prices. So, why is it? If the real exchange rate rises above one, that means goods abroad, abroad means in our case United States, are more expensive than goods in the home country. In our case, it is India. Clear? Other things equal. This implies that people, both in the home country. and abroad are likely to switch some of their spending to goods produced in the home country baat sahi hai because if the foreign prices are greater than the domestic prices the people will prefer to purchase the commodity from the home country right so they will switch some of their spending to goods produced in the home country because the prices in the home country are lower as compared to the foreign prices clear this is often described as an increase in the competitiveness of our products our products means domestic products in our case indian products as long as the real exchange rate is greater than 1 we expect the relative demand for domestically produced goods to rise 
that's correct because as long as the real exchange rate is greater than one that means as long as foreign prices are greater than the domestic prices the relative demand for domestically produced goods for indian goods to rise people will prefer to purchase indian goods because their prices are lower as compared to the foreign prices eventually this should either drive up that means increase the domestic prices or drive down the exchange rate what does it mean see when the people will prefer the domestically produced goods eventually it will lead to excess demand excess demand for indian goods or basically for domestic goods right so when there is will uh, uh, so when there is a situation of excess demand we know that in a situation of excess demand prices start to increase okay to bhai usne kaha hai that eventually this should either drive up drive up means increase the domestic prices okay it will eventually increase the domestic prices or drive down the exchange rate real exchange rate equals to nominal exchange rate times prices of foreign currency upon domestic prices so if this domestic prices start to increase the real exchange rate will decrease increase the domestic prices or drive down means decrease decrease the exchange rate real exchange rate will be decreased moving us closer to the purchasing power parity because earlier foreign prices was greater than domestic prices now domestic prices eventually starts increasing so ultimately we will move closer to the purchasing power parity ultimately the domestic prices will become or 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 will become closer to the foreign prices i hope the concept is clear okay thank you